Hello and welcome to this week's Fundamentals. My name is Thomas and I'm the host of this channel. So this week we will discuss Audius. In earlier videos, we already discussed decentralized applications that want to compete with centralized services. So we already discussed Brave with its bad token that wants to compete with Google Chrome. Then we have Teta with Teta Fuel, which wants to compete with Netflix and Twitch. We have Permission.io that wants to compete with the Amazon Marketplace. And we have Shia that wants to compete with uTorrent to share files. And now we will discuss Audius, which wants to compete with Spotify and even more clearer SoundCloud. Deadmau5 is one of the earlier adopters. Uh, now TikTok wants to use Audius to power its new TikTok sounds library. So with that said, let's jump into the fundamentals. So this is the main webpage. It's audius.org. There is also an audius.co. This is the application, so the, the interface. If we go down here, we see Audius connects fans directly with artists in a familiar music player interface. So instead of Spotify or SoundCloud being the middleman, in this way, the artist can directly communicate with their fans and he also doesn't lose money on the, on the middleman. So that's really what Audius wants to provide. So with Audius, artists can generate immutable and timestamp records for their creative works. So there is multiple options on the platform. You can either show and open your music to anyone to listen to it. You can also create certain NFTs that can be sold to fans that are really interested in having a unique part of music. And there is also all their other collectibles that can be sold and bought on this platform. So unlock premium features for curated engagement by using our native platform token audio. From gated content to artist tokens and remix contests, Audius is here to give fans the exclusive that they deserve. Um, so there's also a lot of contests where you can uh, send your music in, produced by you, and based on the upvotes, you will get paid out. I just want to give an early warning that this is a very early stage of the project and most of the tokens are not released into the community yet. And you will also see that later on. Then the governments, as a platform owned and operated by its users, the future of Audius is entirely driven by audio governance. So this means that if you have the tokens, the tokens also work like shares in a company. So by owning audio, you are also having uh, ownership of Audius as a protocol, and you can vote in which direction the, the protocol will be going. Then we go to uh, an interface with some statistics. So actively, there is about 304 million audio staked. There is uh, 70 million API calls this month. This is uh, interactions with the platform. So an API is, uh, is a code on the platform, either a, a login or a, or a click. So this is the amount of interaction this month. And there is almost 55.5 million users this month as well which is uh, quite a high amount for a project that only started uh, by the end of October last year. Well, they started in 2018, but they, they really did the, the latest update in, uh, in October last year. So total staked, as we already saw, almost 3 million, 300 million. The amount of places going up for all time, uh, the amount of users, so overall quite, quite good. Something that I really found, uh, well, surprising more or less, but is if you look at the top genres, the electronic and hip hop are the most uh, popular and the others there are um, barely existing on the platform. So there is still a huge, uh, huge type of music that hasn't been on the, on the platform and didn't have any fans. So that's a good opportunity for the platform. Then we go to more of the token information. So Audius has the audio token. So Audius protocol gives everyone the freedom to share, monetize and listen to any audio. Thanks to audio, our users can earn a voice in the platform future through their active contributions into the network. So for now, what I read, you can use audio as a, as a transaction tool. So you can buy and sell collectibles. You can also get paid for your music. There is a governance where you can vote in which direction the, the protocol is going. And there's an opportunity to stake and earn money on the fees that uh, happens um, through the transactions on the network. 
So users can stake audio to secure the platform and in return receive a share of network fees, governance, weight and exclusive feature unlocks. So there's also exclusive feature unlocks that you can get by, uh, by holding audio. So then the team, Audius is a team of entrepreneurs, engineers, audiophiles and blockchain experts. Our mission is to empower a new generation of audio artists on the decentralized web. And they're also hiring, as you can see. Uh, Ronald Romberg was the CEO. He is uh, most recently co-founded Kleiner Perkins, where he invested in blockchain and AI, included Lightning Labs. Ronald attended Stanford University and previously co-founded a Bitcoin peer-to-peer -peer payment company called Backslash. So he has experience in blockchain and AI and also in peer-to-peer -peer payments and cryptocurrency. Um, I just miss the experience in music, but that might be another team member who adds that to the, to the table. Then we go to the CPO, the chief product officer, which is Forrest Browning. Forrest is a Forbes 30 under 30 recipient. This means that he was uh, one of the best entrepreneurs under 30 in a certain year. And most recently was a co-founder of Stacksware, an enterprise data center management platform uh, started from a Stanford University research project. The company provides analytics at a scale for Fortune 500 companies, uh, customers, and was successfully acquired in late 2017. So as a data expert and data protection, I think uh, Forrest Browning might be the, the right man for the, for the job. But yeah, by the two co-founders, um, I'm missing the, the music experience. So this is the main webpage. It's audius.org. There is also an audius.co. This is the application, so the, the interface. If we go down here, we see Audius connects fans directly with artists in a familiar music player interface. So instead of Spotify or SoundCloud being the middleman, in this way, the artist can directly communicate with their fans and he also doesn't lose money on the on the middleman. So that's really what Audius wants to provide. So with Audius, artists can generate immutable and timestamp records for their creative works. So there is multiple options on the platform. You can either show and open your music to anyone to listen to it. You can also create certain NFTs that can be sold to fans that are really interested in having a unique part of music. And there is also all their other collectibles that can be sold and bought on this platform. So unlock premium features for curated engagement by using our native platform token audio from gated content to artist tokens and remix contests, Audius is here to give fans the exclusive that they deserve. Um, so there's also a lot of contests where you can uh, send your music in, produced by you, and based on the upvotes, you will get paid out. I just want to give an early warning that this is a very early stage of the project and most of the tokens are not released into the community yet. And you will also see that later on. Then the governance, as a platform owned and operated by its users, the future of Audius is entirely driven by audio governance. So this means that if you have the tokens, the tokens also work like shares in a company. So by owning audio, you are also having uh, ownership of Audius as a protocol and you can vote in which direction the, the protocol will be going. Then we go to uh, an interface with some statistics. So actively, there is about 304 million audio staked. There is uh, 70 million API calls this month. This is uh, interactions with the platform. So an API is, uh, is a code on the platform, either a, a login or a, or a click. So this is the amount of interaction this month. And there is almost 55.5 million users this month as well which is uh, quite a high amount for a project that only started uh, by the end of October last year. Well, they started in 2018, but they, they really did the, the latest update in, uh, in October last year. So total stake, as we already saw, almost 3 million, 300 million. The amount of places going up for all time, uh, the amount of users. So overall, quite, quite good. Something that I really found, uh, well, surprising more or less but is if you look at the top genres 
the electronic and hip hop are the most uh, popular and the others there are uh, barely existing on the platform. So there is still a huge, uh, huge type of music that hasn't been on the on the platform and didn't have any fans. So that's a good opportunity for the platform. Then we go to more of the token information. So Audius has the audio token. So Audius protocol gives everyone the freedom to share, monetize and listen to any audio. Thanks to audio, our users can earn a voice in the platform future through their active contributions into the network. So for now, what I read, you can use audio as a, as a transaction tool. So you can buy and sell collectibles. You can also get paid for your music. There is a governance where you can vote in which direction the, the protocol is going. And there's an opportunity to stake and earn money on the fees that uh, happens um, through the transactions on the network. So users can stake audio to secure the platform and in return receive a share of network fees, governance weight and exclusive feature unlocks. So there is also exclusive feature unlocks that you can get by, uh, by holding audio. Then we go to the team. Audius is a team of entrepreneurs, engineers, audiophiles, and blockchain experts. Our mission is to empower a new generation of audio artists on the decentralized web. If we look at the, the co-founder and chief executive officer, Ronil mostly recently co-founded Kleiner Perkins, early stage seed fund at Cape he was responsible to for seed investments into blockchain and AI companies. So he knows how to invest in uh, in crypto companies. And he also started up a company that uh, did Bitcoin peer to peer payments called uh, Backlash. So in my opinion, he does have some experience in the in the industry. Looking at a picture is also a fairly young guy with not too much experience um, in the crypto industry. And I've seen better teams that uh, run projects. But all with all, if he has enough backup and diversification in the rest of the team, I, uh, I see them succeeding. Then we see Forrest Browning, which is the chief product officer. And Forrest is in the Forbes 30 under 30 recipients and mostly was co-founded, uh, rec most recently was a co-founder of Stackware, an enterprise data center management data platform started for a Stanford University research project. The company provides analytics at the scale for Fortune 500 company and is successfully acquired in late 2017. So this is really a, really a good point for the, the tech of the company and the, he can secure the data of the platform. So this is a good, uh, Forrest is good to have in your team. Then I wanted to show the interface. So the interface is really like, uh, like social media. As you can see, it reminds me a bit of the, the Twitter and the Instagram interface. This is also the most popular profile. It's from that mouse, but it is also the most full profile available. So you can hear, listen to his music. You can see how often it's being listened to. You can also see that other social media platforms are integrated and you can by one click go to that uh, social media platform. Um, funny enough, that mouse also have collectibles, uh, which he owns, and I'm pretty sure that you can buy them from them, from him. I am not sure how, uh, how that works, but again, this is a very early stage project and I think the marketplace is not fully finished yet. So then let's go to the Twitter. And although I found a lot of YouTube videos already about Audius, and so it, it seemed very known, only 63,000 followers, which is uh, not too much compared to the other projects that we already analyzed on this uh, channel. Uh, you can see that the, um, the TikTok announcement is uh, one of the latest uh, posts that they did. I will also look deep into that later. And mostly they are uh, promoting any uh, contests where you can win Audius or any uh, other tokens or collectibles. So then I found this news fact about uh, TikTok. 
I will only put some of the highlights in this video. So TikTok chooses Audius to power its new TikTok sound library, the first of its kind for TikTok, with an aim to streamline the music app's music upload and selection process. As the government token of Audius, audio is staked by users to secure the platform. In return, users receive a share of the network fees, as I explained earlier, governance voting power, as well as some added some value added services like their favorite artist tokens and badges according to the Audius website. So a possible scenario for Audius is that uh, artists also can create their own tokens and give them out to their biggest fans and their biggest fans in return can buy uh, music, unique music with that from the, from the artist. So to make it even more personalized than it already is. The instant price pump also pushed the total market capitalization of Audio above 1 billion for the first time, according to CoinGecko, making it one of the 90 cryptocurrencies worth at least 1 billion. So it is already a, a big market cap for the cryptocurrency that is only in a very early stage. Audio is known as the decentralized Spotify, was founded in 2018 and one of the largest decentralized consumer blockchain applications by monthly users. So overall, if you look at all the, the facts and the amount of users and the market cap, the project seems already very big. Maybe it's also a little bit overvalued because it's early stage and the, the biggest part of the applications is not really, uh, not really active. Another problem that I heard about is that there's uh, users that are uploading fake music and uh, copies of real artists. And that is something that they want to stop. But I'm curious how they are going to do that, because if Audius is able to remove those accounts, I am afraid that it's not truly decentralized as it, uh, as it promises. Then let's go to CoinGecko. Currently, the price in euros is €2.74. We can see that the price really pumped. So even one year ago, it was only 10 cents, and now it's almost at, uh, at €3, Euros, which it already had in April uh, 2021. Um, the total market supply for now is only 1 billion. And that is also the, the max supply. This is not fully correct because I know that uh, most of the tokens are not uh, distributed yet. They're held by uh, Audio them, Audios themselves. Then let's go to TradingView. In trading view, we see the we see the same pump, and um, yeah, if I look at the users and their users are two hundred fifty thousand uh, for now, then I see compared to SoundCloud and Spotify, still a lot of space to grow because Spotify has two hundred fifteen million users, SoundCloud has seventy six million uh, users, and. Audi is only 250,000. So even if they go and reach 1 million, that means that the, the price is five times the price of today. It's, uh, it's 15 euro per token. And with a 1 billion maximum supply, I think it's, uh, it's feasible to have this, uh, this 15 um, euro token. I don't think that is very short term. Short term, I would mostly think about five euros, uh, maybe even 10 by the end of this year, uh, depending on how fast um, Audius growth grows. And as you can see for the last year, it, uh, it grew a lot already. Then also there is only uh, two genres really active on the platform. So once the genres expand, there is also uh, more new users coming to the platform to uh, exploit and explore their new music tastes. And there is only small artists for now, uh, besides uh, Dead Mouse, and therefore I also see a lot of space to grow uh, there. So for this year, it might be 10 euros, and long term it can go to 15, 20 uh, with the current market cap. So with that said, this is the end of the video. If you like this content, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me, and I would be happy to answer your questions. And have a nice week. Bye.